Hi, I'm Mary Beth down here at Capers Emporium. We're the Tri-State's Air Fryer Headquarters. I hear a lot of people say, well, they don't know if they want to devote counter space to an air fryer. You do, and I'm going to tell you why. With an air fryer, they preheat in two to three minutes flat, unlike an electric oven. So you're ready to get the food cooked right away. With an air fryer, you cook in about a third less time than traditional methods. And when I say cook, what am I talking about? I'm talking about frying with air, grilling, baking, roasting. You can even dehydrate in some of these models. So which one is right for you? It depends. With all the air fryers, you have two different things that you have to focus on. One is the time, the other is the temperature. So what do I cook it at and how long do I cook it? And if you go on the internet, you'll be amazed to see how many recipes there are. A lot of them default to 370 degrees for 15 minutes. And then you just bump the temperature up or down and the time up or down from that. One of the things that I love about the air fryer is that when you're not certain how long something will take to cook, just keep looking at it. So this is the basket model. This comes out and it's got an inner basket and an outer basket. They're locked together and they only come apart when you push the button and you take them apart. So as things cook in the inner basket, any grease or other liquids that might come out of the food will go down into the solid basket here. And did I mention clean up? There's gonna be some grease down at the bottom. You discard that, fill this with hot soapy water and let it soak while you're eating. And by the time you're done eating, you're ready to take your Euro scrubby, wipe it out, rinse it, and then you put it back in here to dry and it dries in four to five minutes at 370 degrees. So this is an example of a 2.4 quart model. These are fabulous at reheating leftovers. Do you ever go someplace and you get carry out and you come home and your french fries have been steamed in the styrofoam container? Oh, there's nothing worse than wormy, rubbery french fries. Stick them in the air fryer and they're gonna become golden and crisp and just fabulous. As you're cooking, you can keep pulling this out, taking a look at it, sticking it back in, and when you stick it back in, it is going to go right back to the number of minutes that were remaining and the temperature that you had set it on. Now, as you get into some of the bigger machines, you end up with presets. And what I'm talking about with that are buttons that you can push that are designed for cooking particular foods. So if you say, okay, I'm making some chicken nuggets, you push the button for chicken nuggets, or if you're doing fish or poultry or fries, they have particular buttons for them, so you don't have to know how long you're going to cook it. So you can see the difference. This is going to accommodate a much larger amount of food. It's not just your meat and your vegetables. You can bake desserts in here. And the proof is when we pull out the cheesecake that we've taken 15 minutes to cook. That's right, from start to finish, 15 minutes in the air fryer and you have a beautiful cheesecake. You can do baked macaroni and cheese. You can do your berry cobblers. The possibilities are endless. With this, you have some other controls. And the way this one works is a little different. You open it up. You've got the large 10 quart capacity inside here. The lid will lock when you open it up, allowing you to reach in with your hot pads and remove this. And again, you've got the ability to remove the entire inside. So when it's cleanup time, you just take this over to the sink, pour off the grease into your grease trapper, and then let this soak in hot soapy water. So the air fryers all have a heating element at the top and then they 
generate air that flows around. So in each of the baskets, you're going to see that they have room for the air to flow around. And it literally does fry with air. So no, you aren't putting glugs of oil down in here. When I am cooking different kinds of meat, chicken or fish, I'll put a couple of drops of olive oil on top of them and then I'll rub that in along with my seasoning. But with the air fryer oven here, you have shelves. Those are really nice when you're doing something like those tartlet shells or anything where you can arrange them across a shelf. The shelves themselves are made of mesh so they facilitate laying things out on them. Remember, you can always make a small amount in a big air fryer, but you have a limit as to how much you can make in one of the smallest air fryers. So you might be, be planning ahead and think, well, I'd like to cook a big meal in here. When you think about your oven or your gas grill, you aren't gonna fire those things up if you're just going to cook a little bit. You wouldn't fire up an oven, for example, and preheat it for 20 minutes to do two slice and bake cookies. But there's no reason you wouldn't want to do so in an air fryer when it's two minutes to preheat and you can get those cookies done in a third less time at a little bit lower temperature and boom, your whole house smells good. So this has a grease pan that catches the things that come down. We were cooking a little earlier, so we've still got some crumbs in there. But still, it's time, it's temperature, and it's easy to use, easy to clean up, and the results are incredible. I can't wait for you to start air frying. So come on down to Capers and see the selection for the happy place to shop. Oh,